That's totally uh, incredible. So yeah, com- coming yeah. back onto the project, uh, yeah. all the different casting and choices, they seemed like they were just throwing names out, but maybe they had like... Uh, well, I- I assume people were, and obviously there was right for this part, obviously. Yeah. But the problem is, of course, he's, he's done it before. And I think that that, that that was what really hurt it with the critics when it came out, was because, oh, he's playing another psycho again. This yeah. guy is so different. I mean, I, 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 I'll, yeah, 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 the, yeah. the Nero yeah. went, um, I'm just surprised he wanted to do it, but that he would want to bring something different that was even more, I mean, Taxi driver is kind of well-meaning in a way. I don't know compared to this guy. This guy's only thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or the the guy in in King of Comedy. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, he, he obviously found a different way to play it, but still, people were thinking, you know, there is. I mean, it would have been would have been would have been more interesting if the cast had been reversed, for instance. You know. Okay, that would have um, been interesting. Uh, but, like uh, a crazy, yeah, just, yeah uh, urban guy yeah, that's an yeah, uh, obsessive yeah, fan. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind a but, remake. You know. I mean, I, I love your movie very much, but like <laughs> if it, they're doing this, maybe like a a woman, you know, because everything's got to be inverted now. Yeah, or yeah, a woman's yeah, obsessed yeah, with yeah. a female uh, yeah, something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What do you think about this trend about inverting things? I mean, I just saw the Dirty Rotten Scoundrels thing, so... No. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I I didn't see that. Yeah. And I saw the Ghostbusters. I I, I think the only thing wrong with them is that most of them haven't been done all that well. Yeah, that's it. That's I don't basically think it. Any particular problem with them? I mean, I think you know, Ocean State was just not very good. Yeah. And and, and I I don't know. I can't hear the hustle isn't very good either. Yeah, they the they, they make it very was, crass. It very good, but but it was. I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with. I don't, I don't get all up in arms about oh why are they changing the sets of things and all that. I mean, you know, worked in 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 uh, Battlestar Galactica when they made uh, yeah. Starbucks uh, Roman, you know. So it's not that it doesn't that it can't work. It's just that I think they don't do it that well. Yeah, because if you see Dirty uh, Rotten Scoundrels, there's like very few sex jokes in it. There's very few this. There's very few. Well, and, that's and, the thing. I mean, yeah. every, everything has to be everything has to be a, a dick joke or a yeah. Something that, and then like, yeah, it gets kind of tiring. It is. It's very tiresome. I, I went in there just to see how bad it was, and uh, it was a to, to tolerate it was a bit much. But um, well, I, I know the also the the movie, of course, is actually based on a, a movie. Good time movie story, David, right? yeah. David and Marlon Brando, which is not a very good movie either. Um, yeah, it's uh, funny. So, but you know, it's it's an okay movie. You know. Uh, um, Probably, and they did a musical of it too, didn't they? Do exactly, that musical was amazing, yeah. just yeah. amazing. Yeah. John Lithgow, yeah. I saw. Uh, yeah. No, I saw it with uh, yeah. Yeah. Norman yeah. Butts in it, I think. Oh, he's great. He's yeah. great. He right. played the Freddy character. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. but yeah. sir, I want to know what was that book like compared to the screenplay? When you read the book, the fan, you already had the job, I'm sure, or you already had it being assigned. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, well, I mean, what did I you really think of the book? Hoping to get it. Yeah. It's good. It's a good book. It's a very good book. Okay. It's a really good writer. Um, you know, there's a lot of of streamlining that you have to do, but mm-hmm. I didn't really, I didn't really, uh, you know, yeah, I, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm I'm not approaching it the right way, but I tend to, when I adapt a book, I tend to hopefully stick fairly close to the book. I mean, I've done that and not done that sometimes, but mm-hmm. the fan was a was a was a good book, and and. Uh, I think most of the the set pieces from it or the high points of it, you know, were scenes that were like scenes from the book. Uh, so it was a it was a good one. It was a good one. You should read it, but and, and, the, um... and for that matter, as Mrs. Winterborn had also based on the book. Mm. I'm one of my favorite writers, Cornell Woolrich, um, called "I Married a Dead Man," and um, and 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 on that one, I I the, had the screenplay had already been, it already had a screenplay that they written, and I think most of my writing was bringing it back closer to the book because I love the book. And and there have been another, a couple of other versions of that m- movie, of a book, three versions of that book made. There's one called, with Barbara Stanwyck called No Man of Her Own. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. And there was a French movie called I Married a Shadow. Um, they were all very good movies. And uh, and it not, obviously not as comic as, 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 as Mrs. Winterborn, but I think, you know, 
it just basically tells that same story. Yeah, yeah. I love that one yeah. when I saw it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, yeah. Want, I, I was trying to find it before yeah. Uh, yeah. I interviewed you, but I, I yeah. just couldn't. Um, yeah. But yeah, I was on the Ricky Lake show once, uh, and I mentioned it to her. <laughs> this is kind of a fun deal. Um, <laughs> yeah, she she was nice. I like everybody on that on that movie on that project. Mm-hmm. They were they were uh, you know the the project you know projects are kind of you get kind of higher up you know in the in the when when you're in, when you're on the fan level you know it's kind of there isn't a lot of oxygen up there you know mm-hmm. <laughs> because you're dealing with these huge stars and um and uh I, uh, <laughs> the the Ricky Lake and Brendan Fraser were, were a bit a bit more uh. Yeah. <laughs> that's and cool. I, I, I did love John Guglielmo, though. He was a great guy. Oh, wow. That's so good to know. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah, a huge yeah, fan of yeah. his. I just. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and Ellen Barkin won a Blockbuster Entertainment Award for Best Supporting Actress out there, everyone. Uh, it should have won more or gotten more attention as far as that kind of stuff. For the fam? Yeah, I couldn't believe that. I did not know that. Yeah. She, she was. She was good too. I liked her. I liked her. She you really love that scene. It's very real when she's talking yeah. to Wesley Snipes. Uh, yeah. You know yeah. about his ego and stuff, or that character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was that was great. That was great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I, I think my, my script originally had more humor in it, and uh, I think it was they. It sort of got less, less, uh, less, less that way. But um, I remember when, uh, at the time when I was when I was writing it. Um, uh, I had written, I had been, I've been written, as I said, with Michael Apted, and 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 yeah. um, he was a he was a really good guy, and and um, I um, they were um, I, I was thinking about about you know by river what kind of car he would drive, would he drive, you know, and I, I thought we well, could put a really obnoxiously big car like a Hummer, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. just a Hummer, <laughs> you know, I, really obnoxious. <laughs> so then I was walking, and then but Tony Scott was on the show on the hey, right for the project i was walking into his office and and in in front of his office there were parked like three hummers <laughs> <laughs> so i thought he's not going to get that joke no. <laughs> wow. he's, not, or he's not going to think it is a joke basically he's going to take it seriously and he was a very uh he was a wild man he was an absolute wild man i mean he would be he would just go we're fucking great. We're fucking great. He's got this really yeah. thick Cockney accent, and he would call you, you know, for giving you notes when he was mountain climbing and and you know hanging from a rope somewhere. And okay, and 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 I was trying to explain to him at the last scene, you know, in the rain, the pouring rain. Yeah. Uh, I was saying, it's like you know, they don't really play baseball games in the rain. They get a pool baseball game in the rain. No, oh, it'd be fucking great. It'd be fucking great. And, and it, was, it was. It was fucking great. It was. Uh, but it was. Uh, you, had, you had to kind of uh, suspend your disbelief a little bit. You sure. Uh, he just. Oh, he's like <laughs> one. I mean, God bless him and rest in peace. But just an amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah. When I watch his, his yeah, yeah. behind the scenes stuff with him and. Uh, uh, I mean, just so dynamic, and I, I mean, oh I, my god, it's mm. no, so full of life and all that. I can't figure out how that happened. I can't figure. Out. It's got to be. It's got to be more answers to that. An e true I'm Hollywood surprised. story, maybe one I'm day. I'm surprised people don't <laughs> talk about it more too. I mean, I'm I'm because very he, small he, time with this stuff, but I would love to do a whole tribute to him and investigation yeah, of it before I, mean, I he can. Was, but. he was, a, you know, a terrific director. And I guess he maybe maybe kind of always in the shadow of his brother, but but. I don't know. He was—he was great. He was great. They produced he always wore, uh, stuff together. Wore, uh, what's that always, shoe? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. You always wore exactly the same thing too. <laughs> you always wore that red hat and those shorts and that vest. <laughs> and he always—it was the only thing he ever wore, ever. I was gonna ask you if as he was wearing that. Cause I've seen other movies behind the oh, scenes. Oh, no, I, I guess it must be simple to get the rest of the morning because you put on the same fucking thing every day. <laughs> it was wild. It was incredible. Uh, um. Oh gosh, I, I, something about that their office. Uh, whatever. I'll think of that later. But last Boy Scout, uh, the fan. I'm a really big fan of Days of Thunder. That whole run from your, you know, uh, just uh, anything you did. Uh, uh, Crimson Tide. Oh yeah, yeah um, Jeez, that was um, right after. Yeah. He had he had he had offices all over town. So every time I'd meet with him, we'd be in a different <laughs> office. It'd be really you know art directed up the you know wazoo with. Seating fans and all this sort of thing. I said, "What the hell is this guy? What is this guy? How does he have? You know, it's, it's just crazy." But I guess they 
you know, they did a lot of stuff. They, they, yeah. they did a lot of commercials, too, you know. You want, yeah, uh, man, they sure did. I remember they, looking at, you know, who got of, started with that. Yeah. Money off. I think they still did them, you know. Yeah. I, I was a fan of Pelham One Two Three, uh, the remake. I mean, it wasn't perfect or anything. I thought which, it was. Which was that? The Pelham One Two Three remake. That I think oh, it was his yeah, I never movie. Saw that. I never saw that. I never saw that. He made five movies with Denzel. I think that was his. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, the fan. God bless it. Uh, it's twenty five yeah. years now. Um, I uh, if I can ever get the rights or do a commentary or anything, I'd love to include you with that. Uh. <laughs> See what well, was changed. I, 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 would, I would love to. Love to be great. Uh, I would be the, probably the last person to do that. Yeah. <laughs> but like, as far as any other thrillers, you, uh, I mean, you're working on some of the Hallmark stuff, but do you have uh, some of the spec scripts that you've made through the years? Did you ever go back to writing thrillers? Cause... Oh, yeah, a lot of them are thrillers, and, and all my novels are thrillers, too. And, cool. Um, cool. And also, I, by the way, I do, I do a podcast. Okay, I didn't know that. Myself, I do a podcast with uh, my friend Mark Jordan League, and called Film Freaks Forever, where we talk about old movies and, and, and just riff on them. So you, you know, listen to that. that that's cool. We, do, we have one on World War II movies this, this month. And uh, uh, we, 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 know, we know way too much about old movies. <laughs> it would be great. Yeah, send me a link maybe on Facebook, and then I'll include it in this uh, video. Oh, yeah, I will, I will, I will, I will. That's totally cool. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 thrillers, blank from hell thrillers, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. This was the fan from hell. Uh, they're they're just so good. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I I love those. I, I, I was kind of quite funny, you know, when when George Peele made uh, um, Get Out. Yeah. I, sort of, I, I had always sort of thought that comedy and, and thrillers were like oh, yeah. the two sides of the same coin, you know. Yeah. But not many, not very many people have gone from one to the other. Um, uh, so when when he did that, I thought that was interesting. And um, you know, in Alfred Hitchcock movies have a lot of humor in them. Um. Uh, I don't know. It's 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 interesting. It's interesting. The one I wrote but, as a spec um, script is basically it's about it's kind of a sequel to all the Blank from Hell thrillers. It's like what would happen to the person from Unlawful Entry? What would happen to all these people afterwards? They join some survivor support group, and then someone <laughs> there would take advantage of them. Maybe so. That's a kind of a crazy that's one. Funny. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> funny. But uh, yeah, fan. Yeah, um, yeah. Mrs. Winterborn, a lot. Oh, a lot of them would be remiss to not bring up. Uh, well, thanks sounded interesting. I wish I would have watched some of it. Um, thanks was very good. That, yeah. was, that, was, that was one of my happiest experiences. I did that also with Mark Jordan Lee, who's my partner on oh, the, cool. the podcast. Oh, nice. Yeah, that makes um, sense. Uh, yeah, that, um, that was with Cloris Leachman, everybody. Yeah, yeah. and um, Cloris Leachman, Tim Dutton, Jim Rash, nice. uh, all, all the people that you know, went on to become big. Big stars, and well, obviously, of course, Leishman was already a big star, but um, but yeah, it, it was great. I loved doing that. I just so we did six of them, and and they couldn't figure out what the hell to do with it, yeah. so they they burned it off one summer. But I don't believe that it's ever been shown since. I think of them with one airing, and that was it. <laughs> we'll check it out on YouTube if there's any but, clips, at least. Um, but you have you have uh, you have a, a fan in in survival. Oh. Uh, yeah, she she's written, she wrote about it in the book she wrote on the Pilgrims. She had a nice a nice old passage about that. So it's totally that was, cool. That was cool. A lot of people who've seen it remember it. Um, and they, and they they do have a, a, a an occasional bootleg DVD of it shows up now and then. Um, but uh, but it's never it's never been it's never seen the light of day since then. So I love shows or love knowing yeah. about shows that didn't go as you know the yeah. full thing. Yeah. Right. Uh, one in the eighties, a Behringer's, a department store ripoff of Dynasty kind of show. Uh, that's one of my favorites. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't remember that one. But yeah, there are a lot of there are a lot of a lot of good shows. I mean, they all, there was a show called Best of the West when I was a kid, and there's uh, um, um, you know, there was a show called My World. Welcome to it. That was really wonderful. And uh, all these shows that only did half a season or something like that, you know. No, but, you uh, know, Cheers could have been like that because it, it, did, have, yeah. it, was doing, it was doing terribly in the first year. It was the last show in the ratings one week, you know. And um, just that NBC was doing so badly in every aspect, yeah. and, 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 and that show was getting fairly good reviews, that they figured, well, let's leave it on, see what happens. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. your show, Terriers, it lasted... 
a full season or two? Or? Terriers? Yeah. Terriers was one year. One that year, was okay. one season. Yeah, that was the same thing. I mean, yeah. every, you know, we, we, we wrote that show, and we, should, we filmed it all before any of them aired. And so we thought, oh, this is really special. And then we aired, and no one watched it. <laughs> no one watched it. And then later, like two years later, it, it got a big following on Netflix, and everybody loved it. But then it was too late. Everybody had gone on to do different things. Yeah, like three years, so, four years later, the internet would have maybe gotten behind it more, but the internet wasn't... Well, yeah, no, we were, we, if, if it had been, yeah, three or four years later, it would, I'm sure it would have been picked up by Hulu or whatever. Yeah. Um, but it was it just... It was just before that time. I so that, that, that and, and so that that was another show that I wrote that was that was kind of a, a thriller mystery type show. Yeah. yeah and Boston, Boston Legal also, which I wrote for for three years, um, was you know somewhat that way too. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm just so honored know. to have you on. I can't believe yeah. it. Really, uh, yeah. it's been, it's trying to do it for uh, a while. <laughs> well, and, I'm sorry. Uh, that I'm- Sorry to get hold of. I was, oh no no no! I was I've, in the throes I, of writing that that whole book. No, oh, yeah, I, I haven't really even known how to operate this camera too much or anything, so it's been better well, I'm than glad I've you're, been. You're 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 lucky that you don't see me, so that's good. <laughs> cool, bud. Well, um, I want to make sure I can upload this and everything. So, um, uh, in the future, maybe I'll 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 hit I'll you know we can talk about something else. But this sure, has sure, been sure, uh sure, forty one sure, minutes. Yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. Yeah, and and uh, you know, make sure you email me so I can send you a link to the to the podcast. I can't wait. Um, it's yeah. an honor to talk to you, and hope to talk to you more. Uh, but uh, God bless you, and g- um, good luck with your, uh, and if, your if, next if movies. We're still, if, if we're still on the air right at this point, the podcast is available on iTunes, Spotify, um, Stitcher, SoundCloud, all those type things it's called film freaks forever so film freaks list. forever he's talking about yeah, world war ii yeah. movies have you done some yeah, uh, yeah. noir and stuff too on we that? did we did we did an episode on, on noir we did an episode on a whole episode on ventriloquist dummy movies wow that's awesome we did uh bad musicals we did um did all the versions of a star is born oh wow um, we've done we've done a lot of stuff we've done like 11 of them and it's fun it's fun uh, I'm I'm really into that movie, Day of the Locust, and also Stuntman, which is uh from the early '80s. But so we we we, have, we haven't done that. That's, yeah. an, that's something we could do. We could do you know show business oriented movies like Day of the Locust and Stuntman. And, yeah. And uh, there are lots of those, of yeah. course. And usually we try to do like a uh well, generally we try to do good and good movies and bad movies. You know, to kind of exactly. uh and and uh and and even the bad movies we enjoy you know oh, yeah. <laughs> we don't we don't do movies that we just like, we, we did bad musicals we did the apple and uh and <laughs> Pepper, Lonely Hearts Club Band, and you know shows that are they're kind of fun to watch although they're kind of painful too oh, yeah. um but, uh yeah yeah well, Mr. Sun, congratulations, Great. and also to your, I believe your daughter got married sometime last year, Your right? daughter got married last year, yes, 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 yes about a year ago. Yes. Uh, she she's also works in the business, she's an assistant director on the, the Connors, so... Uh, oh, the Roseanne, okay, okay, cool. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, yeah. well, I will. I will. Uh, I will talk to you soon. Okay. Thank you so much again. I appreciate okay. it. Okay. Bye. Great. Bye.